Hello everyone. If my smile looks a little bit bigger than normal, um, it's because Father Fred, of course, is here with us. Um, and both of us want to reinforce the importance of um, the rectory and even the role of a pastor. And so I think this is really a great time for us to be together. Um, we've been together, obviously, since the announcement was made, but um, it's been great to spend some time and kind of plan and for me, spend some time reflecting. Um, and so some of you don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway, although it's not public yet, technically, um, but I have been assigned as associate pastor at the cathedral at St. Simon and Jude Parish, um, which is a very special place for me because the rector, the priest in charge, the pastor, um, is Father Fernando Camus, Father Fernando, Family. He and his family are all from um, Our Lady Perpetual Help in Glendale, and so I've known him well. I, I actually vested him in Rome um, as a deacon, and so um, it's very, very special. And Father Harold Escargera Escar is part-time associate at the cathedral, and then he works also at Xavier High School. I taught him how to be an altar boy, <laughs> so this is a very special time. Um, for me and I look forward to it even though leaving here will be difficult. But now I want you to, uh, Father Fred to speak to you a little bit um, as he, you get to know him even a little better than you know him already. Thanks Father Mike. Of course. Um, my gratitude to Father Mike as a brother priest and we've traveled together and had a friendship through the years so uh, we were both talking about transitions and how they go and um, of course my life has been in a, a lot of transition with a new bishop and everything that's going on but I first of all I just want to say how grateful I am to God and uh, to Bishop Dolan for uh, and Bishop Olmsted, um, uh, Bishop Olmsted through the years but then Bishop Dolan for having the courage to assign me here uh, and I'm so grateful for that and then and also I you know I was thinking back to Father Brian uh, I, I go way back to when he first invited me to start helping him or he needed help and I volunteered to help. Uh, that started a long relationship with St. Bernard of Clairvaux and all of you as parishioners. And so I'm just grateful to him. And then when, when Father Mike came on, he said, Father Fred, uh, I want you to stay on. You know the people well, so we've worked well together. And then um, my visits with Father Simon have been nothing but what wonderful, his energy and his enthusiasm uh, that he brings. So I'm excited about working with him. And then of course, the other benefit that I have, a lot of times when you come into a place, you don't know the staff, but I know almost all the staff pretty well too. So I, I really feel like with Father Mike's help and Father Simon's and, and the staff, and then knowing so many of you, it's just gonna be a, a, a smoother transition uh, because we're working together right from the beginning. And so uh, I, a couple things I would say that I am looking forward to a time of rest. So even though I've been named pastor July 1, uh, I went into the bishop's office and said, remember you told me I could have off until September. So I will be leaving on the 28th of this month and then my official sabbatical kind of ends September 5th. So I'll be flying back on the 6th. And I'll tell you why that's important is because my mom's birthday is March 1st and my dad's is September 5th. And family is important to me and I, I really am gonna bookend my, my time of rest and prayer. Uh, with them uh, as, a, as a large part of it and then do some other things. I'll be around this weekend at all the masses so I'll, t I'll share a little more with that. But I, I, one of the things Father Mike and I were talking about because it's such a big thing is the, the rectory project that's going on and how supportive I've been of that um, from the very beginning. You know even now people say well where are you gonna live Father Fred and I said well that's the one thing I don't know and, uh, and so we're trying to work that out just in that transition so, you know, the hope of eventually having uh, a rectory where uh, future pastors and priests here will know where they're living. And in fact, canonically and spiritually, it's attached to the parish, which is living and vibrant and, and understanding that the pastor is there. And I always tell people, if, you know, when, when, uh, when I grew up and if dad wasn't home and traveling or something, the house felt different. And I think the same thing happens we, even on parish grounds. You know, when you know that the pastor's there and well, you might not always see us, but you just know we're on the campus and around, I think it gives a, a deeper sense of that fatherly care. Um, so if something's going on in the hall, we're just there and it helps the staff and I think it helps the people. So ideally, I mean, always in the life of the parish, uh, it's, it's uh, encouraged that there's a rectory on the grounds 
uh, for the priest to live, for them to form community, but also for the community to form a, re a deeper relationship with the pastor and the priests that are there. And then I, I really love the plan because the plan of the rectory too accommodates for uh, extra priests, retired priests, and that brings life to the parish as well, that guys can live. So I'm just mm -hmm. grateful to Father Mike. Uh, I, I've looked at the plans at different times because of the building commission, and um, I'm excited, and I'm just grateful to all of you who have supported this already and will continue to support it. And, uh, and But most importantly, above and beyond that, I'm just impressed or kind of excited just to be with you uh, week to week and day to day for those of you who come to daily mass and, and just journey together in our faith. And, you know, no matter where we lay our head, what's most important is that we give our heart to Jesus. And I, I think that's uh, uh, certainly what I picked up uh, from so many of you in the parish uh, through my years. So, yeah, so just grateful. Um, you know, I can't say enough. I will be here. I will be around all weekend, uh, this coming weekend, which uh, uh, Father Mike asked me if I would be here. So I'll be at all the masses and just uh, to kind of visit with you before I head off on sabbatical. So you can send me off as uh, the helper priest. And then when I come back, I'll be pastor. <laughs> so, Father Mike, any thoughts from you? I would just say, you know, of course, Transition is both difficult and wonderful. Yes. And um, for me, difficult leaving this wonderful community. Um, and it, and it, I could, pride wise, difficult leaving with the rectory unfinished. However, one of the great joys, other than just knowing the priests at the cathedral and all that, is they have a rectory. I'm moving out of an apartment and into a real rectory, living together. You know, and I just, I really am looking forward to that. Um, but but in, in, I also leave or leave here with a great deal of peace because as soon as it was announced that Father Fred was coming, it's like a burden was off. It's going to be an easy transition. All of you will be well taken care of, and I have total total confidence in that. So, um, but I'm still here till June thirtieth, <laughs> and then Father Simon will have a couple of months to kind of practice being a pastor, part of training for him <laughs> someday. Um, but anyway, God bless you all. Have a wonderful and peaceful Lent. God bless. Bye-bye.